Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone enjoyed my last video in which I showed you guys how to easily install the VMOS Pro APK from the APK installer application. Um, VMOS APK is a virtual machine that allows you to run another instance of Android inside of Android in a sandbox that's um, like its own little machine, its own little space. Okay, uh, if you guys like using the 7-bit or 7 Android 7 64-bit version, that's great, awesome. Uh, VMOS Pro is easy to install and available on APK Pure, which means it's really easy to get on your headset. If you want something a little lighter, today we're going to try uh, VMOS uh, Android 5 32-bit machine and see how that works out for us. Okay, so I wasn't able to find it by searching on the APK Pure app for some reason. But if you run a search for VMOS APK in your regular Oculus browser, what you will come across are a few different links. I'm going to choose the one for APK Pure. The reason that I like to use APK Pure installers is because they're often packaged as XAPKs, meaning that a number of APKs are, are downloaded all together in a package and the installer determines which APK is most appropriate for your hardware, for your headset. So, I really like using those. It's downloaded already. We'll go ahead and go open our APK Pure installer. Right here. Go to our little hamburger. Pull this on over and get to the APK XAPK management. And we can install VMOS. <clears throat> yes, please install VMOS. Guys, this process, it does take a little while. I'm going to close out APK Pure now. Our app is installed. And open it up for the first time. This takes a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen. It really does. Be patient. You might feel like it's freezing up. I chose not to um, go with the floating bubble or whatever because the floating bubbles don't actually work on the headsets. But we do want to authorize all the other permissions so that this is actually a useful device on our headsets once it's installed. And here we are at the ROM installation process. This doesn't take long, but unpackaging it takes a little while. Okay. And now we're unpackaging. This takes a few minutes. This actually does probably take five to ten minutes. It's pretty close. Just sit back and wait. Keep it running. Keep looking at it. Whatever you got to do, twiddle your thumbs. Pretend you're playing Beat Saber. You know, maybe look around at the pretty views. This is a gorgeous fire. Look at those shooting stars. Absolutely level. Where it's 75%, that doesn't really mean much, because at 99%, it can sit there for quite a while. So we'll just go ahead and wait it out. No big deal. Okay, 
No, sir, that is not the sound of me hitting a vape. That would be wildly inappropriate and unprofessional and very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. we got to that 77%, didn't we? Oh, boy. There we go. 82. We are making progress. This installation might feel like it takes a little bit longer than the installation of BMOS Pro. But that may very well be because this version is prepackaged with the Google Play Store enabled and ready to go. It's a little bit nicer. We're at 100% and we're going to see a launcher screen anytime now. Anytime. I can feel it in my bones. Yep, it's definitely going to be here. And magic. Just kidding. Darn it. There I go again, picking my controllers up backwards. Maybe if I don't look at it. Like Schrodinger's cat, right? If I just put it in the box and forget to feed it, it's never dead. There we go. We have got a launcher screen. All right. Now, it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? That's because it is. We need to change our resolution. What I have found that works a lot better on these things, something around 980 by 1440. With a DPI of 240, I like that. I don't know, if you like something a little bit bigger, go for it. And restart your virtual machine with your new resolution setting. You have to manually restart. There's no sense in having the floating window mode on, so we'll just tell that to stay off. Our VM is starting up for the first time, well, the second time. I hear my kitty cat under my desk. Not a good thing. And as you can see, the Play Store is pre-installed. Let's pull this down, go to the settings menu, Oops. settings. Here in settings, we can go to about phone and we see that it is Android 5.11. Now, if I click on this build number a bunch of times, you'll find that I've gone into developer mode by now. I Hopefully, maybe not. Oops. Oh, my clicks look shitty. There we go. Ah, developer mode. Now what I like to do here, just to make things feel a little snappier, is just go ahead and turn off all these little animation things for the user interface. Don't really need all that. On. Boy, maybe I need to eat. Get both shaky. There we go. Now, so we have a full running version of Android 5.11, 32-bit on our headsets. Easy peasy, looks pretty. Works in conjunction with other apps. Multitask mode. Yeah. No problem at all. Let's go grab another one. I'll open an APK cure too. Boom. All right. Looking good, huh? Looking real good. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share.